The city of Quito is witnessing an influx in the number of pirate taxi and bus operators. Most of the illegal operators are using different and designated routes in their business much to the discomfort of registered bus and taxi operators. So that on business if we are still having that time, we need a man or a driver to run the race around one. These were supposed to to go in stations because they are using bus fares instead of using booking taxis. Business yes, but while to start with this step back, na we na we ni nchini ni ni ngalanda, but na we na we for you cool. The registered operators say they are failing to meet their daily cashing targets, and now want the local authority to move in and bring sanity in the city. Yes, for, for the council, I love that uh, they, they look for a designated area where they can take those uh, NOAA guys to operate from. The Kitwe City Council is aware of the development and has given two weeks to illegal bus and taxi operators to register their vehicles. We gave NOAA operators an ultimatum of two weeks to register their vehicles because the NOAA operators are not going to go anywhere. They, they want to do business. Everyone wants to do business and it is not the policy of the patriotic front to deny anyone business. Opposite after 10, that bus station should be abolished immediately. Uh, opposite uh, in front of the Zipsip hostels, that bus station should be abolished immediately. These are issues which are well covered in the meetings that we've been having. Most of the illegal taxi and bus operators, mainly using NOAA vehicles, are using Edinburgh Hotel and several parking points in the city as stations. The operators spoken to by ZMBC News are reluctant to register their vehicles. We are condemning the government because I'm also stealing. Yeah, I'm stealing from the government. Let us spend the vehicles, let us put the ribbons, then we will be operating. They will give us proper stations. parking mainly Last month, the local authority moved in and removed vendors from the streets. The removal of vendors has seen the local swell its revenue base. With the eminent removal of pirate taxis and buses from the road, the council expects to increase its revenue base as many vehicles will now be registered. Kesha Skapumba, ZMBC News. In Kitwe.